MasterTask Training Systems presents Mastering CNC Machining Centers, a complete simulation-based solution. If there are 10 steps to a task your CNC operators need to perform, it makes sense that they should know and understand all 10. 80 or even 90% competency means lost production time and the possibility of scrap, rework, tool damage, and even machinery repair. And if you've worked around shops for a while, you know that practice makes permanent not perfect. Your experienced operators get faster at doing things their way, not necessarily the best way. Master Task Training Systems use techniques that have their origins in research done for the U.S. military. Hundreds of case studies from shops like yours prove the Master Task System can improve your experienced personnel and develop new trainees to higher levels of productivity in much less time and at a lower cost. By combining state-of-the-art methods with the latest delivery tools, such as the web or DVD, you can provide a powerful learning experience that is interesting, challenging, and encourages rapid advancement. It would be a good course if that were all it could do, but there's one more feature that makes master task courses dramatically more effective. Your people will interact with realistic simulations of the operating procedures on the CNC control types you select for them. You choose from the common models of FANUC, Haas, Mazak, or Akuma. Based on your selections, they will complete tasks such as positioning workpieces, jogging tools, loading and activating programs, adjusting and entering offsets, all without tying up your machines or making teachers out of your production personnel. While designed for self-paced applications, the courses can also be effective in blended classroom self-paced environment where instruction occurs in class and tests are completed individually. Five levels or courses enable you to develop the degree of performance you need on your CNC machining centers. The lessons in level one cover the basics while enabling individuals new to the field to be productive as rapidly as possible. The lessons in level two create the skills of a C or B level operator. Completing level three advances the person to a class A operator. Level 4 begins the development of setup skills. When they have finished level 5, they will have mastered setup and, if your needs require it, enable them to edit and write simple programs. While the master task system requires your people to achieve 100% on their interactive tests and simulations, it is not beyond the capacity of the average person. The multimedia approach with its clear narrative, motion video, Animations and the ability to control the playback of the instruction enables even challenged learners to be successful. But isn't it going to take a long time for them to achieve 100%? Actually, you're likely to find it takes less time to achieve the higher levels of skill included in the course. Many courses provide a fixed amount of time in which to learn, resulting in individuals with variable levels of competency at the end. Even students with the same grade on the final exam will have missed different portions of the material, making it difficult to judge how prepared they are. Master Task reverses that situation. Competency is fixed at 100%, while the time becomes the variable. Because everyone gets the same grade, trainees know that the time they take to complete the course becomes the variable by which they are judged. Finding how relatively easy it is to get 100%, Trainees are strongly motivated to move ahead rapidly. The instruction for each lesson is provided on DVD. The chapter menus on the DVDs allow trainees or instructors to select the control models they need to learn. They see actual production situations, as well as computer animations that illustrate some of the more difficult to grasp concepts. The tests are on the CD-ROM. When entering the trainee in the course management system, the control type or types are selected causing their test to be automatically modified to match the selections. Before moving to the CD-ROM test, however, trainees will answer the worksheet questions in the student guide manual. These tests can be used as a pretest to place trainees in the correct lessons, as a post-test after watching a lesson, as a self-study guide while watching a lesson, or as a tool for group discussion in a classroom setting. With the student guide questions answered, the CD-ROM test can begin. 
The simulations of actual job tasks built into these tests make them a powerful learning experience. Just as with the DVD-based instruction, the CD-ROM-based tests are focused on the control type or types you require. Simply select the appropriate model or models of control during the registration of each trainee and the computer. They will then see additional questions that are specific to the model control selected and avoid specific questions on the other controls. The computerized course management system simplifies the implementation of the course. The computer does all the scoring and record keeping for each person taking a CD-ROM test. A supervisory level person can track his group of trainees. They simply enter the previously provided instructor's password to view either an individual student report or class report. Answers to all the student guide and CD-ROM questions are found in the instructor's guide provided with each course level. This systematic approach of training and the documentation provides will also help you meet your ISO 9000 criteria. What's in a typical course? The Mastering CNC Machining Center's course is divided into five levels called courses. Within each course, you'll find between four to six lessons. Each lesson has an instructional DVD, a worksheet, and a CD-ROM test. The course materials give you the flexibility to deliver the instruction to larger groups of trainees in a classroom, or in a self-paced mode that enables workers to advance once they have achieved competency. Each topic is presented in a similar manner on the DVD. It begins by explaining why the information is needed to do the job, then covers the topic in detail, and follows up with its application on the CNC control type selected from the DVD chapter menu. With a better understanding your operators achieve will come greater confidence and a measurable improvement in performance. They'll learn the best ways to mount work holding devices, troubleshoot quality defects, mount and adjust tools, and for those writing their own programs on machines, learn processing planning and programming. A variety of GNM code programming styles are shown throughout each course, in addition to the most popular conversational languages used on conventional CNC machining centers. The FANUC models covered include the 0, 16, 18, 21, and 30 series. The Akuma controls include all the models from the OSP 5000 series up to the U, E, and P series. The MAZAC controls covered include models of T32, T+, Fusion 640, and Matrix. The Haas CNC controls include both the older and newer models used on their machining centers. The instructor's guide makes it easy to manage the course, even for those not completely knowledgeable about all the brands of CNC controls or machining centers shown. For example, the questions within each student guide manual are divided into groups that match the parts found in the instructional DVDs. In classroom settings, the instructor can stop the video at the end of each part of a lesson and review the student guide questions that apply. Any trainee questions can be answered quickly with the help of the instructor's guide. Each question is linked to a scene number in the video instruction. The instructor can quickly locate the source of the correct answer. For example, this question is linked to scene 13. The instructor then turns to the narration scripts found in the instructor's guide and can review the information with the trainee. How does a CD-ROM test work? A tutorial on the CD-ROM provides trainees with an introduction to all aspects of the computer testing and simulation process. They'll be able to try out the controls available on the test screens and sample the various types of interactive questions. Clicking on any of the types listed displays an example of that question. A show answer button is provided to make answering the example questions easier. To begin a test, the trainee simply selects their class and clicks the Take a Test button. After selecting their name from the class list, they will enter their personal password and the test will begin. Because some people may have poor English comprehension skills, each test question is provided both orally and in text form at the bottom of the screen. To hear a question again, the repeat audio button is clicked with a mouse. Whether the trainee's answer is right or wrong, the feedback provides an explanation of the correct answer as reinforcement. Within a three-dimensional space, three axes are required to define any location. The review button in the lower right portion of the screen allows the trainee to scan back and forth through the questions which have already been answered. Trainees find this especially useful when a question is incorrectly answered and they wish to return to see how they made their mistake. The resume test button returns them to the point at which they stopped and continues the testing process. 
As a trainee progresses through a test, the left side of the status area indicates the current course, lesson, and question number, while the number of correct, incorrect, and remaining questions appear in the column on the right. This is the prompt box. When the mouse cursor is moved over a button or response area on the screen, the prompt box indicates the purpose for that function. This is especially useful for new people or those who have not had recent experience with the courseware. The exit button allows the trainee to stop the test at any time. When this occurs, the computer updates the individual's file on the computer and displays a report for the trainee. This report indicates how many minutes they spent on the test, how many test items were right and wrong, and the remaining unanswered questions. When the person returns to this test, they'll be asked those questions they missed on their previous attempt, as well as any remaining questions. Using the course management system, an instructor can scroll through a student's report to see how often they attempted a test, how much time they took, the questions they missed, and so on for each attempt. Other management functions available include adding and deleting students, changing passwords, and creating reports for either individual students or for the class. To keep the testing process interesting and challenging, eight types of interactive questions are used. Question types are chosen for their ability to closely simulate the skills required of individuals when performing the task on a CNC machine. The question types include single-click, multi-click, list selections, number in order, sequence, keypad, drag object, and procedural. Single-click and multi-click questions might require the person to click on a control panel button or use the correct soft key. Other click questions might require the person to locate a specific code within a part program. List selection questions test the retention of information in a manner similar to multiple choice questions. Number and order questions require the trainee to remember the sequence in which certain steps are performed to complete a task. Sequence questions require the steps of a task to be performed in a simulation. As each step is completed, it is listed to indicate the trainee's progress within the complete sequence. Keypad questions often require trainees to determine a corrective value and enter it using a simulated MDI keypad. In other keypad questions, the correct G or M code must be entered. Drag object questions require the trainee to replace an object at the correct location on the screen. Procedural questions require trainees to perform a number of steps within a single question. This completes the general description of this course and the interactive testing elements. Stand by for part two, which will show you samples taken from the lessons within the program. Once you've seen a segment from the sample DVD, you can try out the interactive questions that cover the portion of the instruction on the CD-ROM sample you've received.